On August the 12th, the day of the highly anticipated Perseids meteor shower peak, we all took a day off from work and set out on a journey to a dark sky location in Germany. Our plan? A relaxing night of stargazing and astrophotography. But as always, the universe had other plans. When we arrived at our intended spot, it was packed with people. So we decided to try a nearby location I had scouted years ago with Kevin Outman. Little did we know, this wouldn't be the only surprise of the night. Good evening and welcome to night number two of the Perseids meteor shower hunt. Uh, Tom was waving at the background and uh, Martijn and Corné are also here. We are in uh, Germany. Uh, our initial plan uh, failed but we found uh, this uh, other chapel because we were at the Cottenborne Capelle but it was so busy, uh, the roof was uh, under construction uh, that we chose uh, this location. We are uh, up a hill and uh, yeah, we have uh, three sides uh, to all directions. To all directions and that's important because there are again aurora chances so uh, yeah I think we will just stay here shoot this chapel maybe from all sides and uh, set our chairs and enjoy a meteor shower and maybe an aurora show or two. We unpacked the car and started to get a feeling for the location. Immediately we knew something wasn't quite normal. So Kone what are you seeing now uh, on your camera? We're seeing a star arc right above us. So uh, not with the naked eye, but on the camera we see uh, yeah, a green band going almost over our head. A red band, yeah. <laughs> a red band. Uh. But, uh, so I, I think it's a star arc. And yeah, I think in just a few minutes, when it gets darker, I think we'll get aurora overhead. I think so, but we'll see. What a night. A SAR arc or stable auroral red arc is linked to the northern lights, but is actually something different. While the aurora is caused by charged particles reacting with Earth's upper atmosphere, a SAR is a sign of heat energy leaking into the atmosphere from Earth's ring current system. Such arcs are, however, stimulated by a geomagnetic storm, like tonight. As you can see uh, behind me now, we have huge aurora. We're seeing purple pillars. There's green on the horizon. There to the right, we're seeing reds. Uh, just before we saw an uh, uh, arc, a red arc uh, going uh, yeah, all through the zenith. We're all just running around. No idea what we're doing <laughs> because this is not what we planned. But sometimes this is just how it goes. In the meantime, and behind me, I can also see the Milky Way. I should also start my stack if I want to shoot a Milky Way core because it's not every time I'm in such a dark sky, but I'm kind of distracted by the aurora. <laughs> If you've been paying close attention, you might have noticed I started a meteor counter already. Let's count some more. So look who's here, Koen. Hello. That's a long time ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago. What were you up to? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to shoot uh, another panorama tonight. So uh, right. it's the first time that I'm catching some, uh, some meteors. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Already caught some? Already got some, yeah. Nice. And I spent a weekend in France and already shoot a couple of meteors there, but not the big fireball. So I'm uh -huh. looking forward for the fireballs. So you're hoping to get that here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we do.
So uh, the, we are uh, a little bit more relaxed now uh, as opposed to an hour before. Uh, the aurora has died down a bit, sometimes there come some pillars, but we are focusing now on shooting the Milky Way, catching some meteors. And also just with the naked eye seeing uh, what we can see. Uh, I'm curious what uh, the sky quality here will be. Um, so let's uh, point up the sky quality meter and uh, see what it says. 21.06 but that's a little bit because that light because about five minutes ago it said 21.14 uh, so that's the darkest skies I've measured so far <laughs> let's just enjoy now because we're going to shoot anyway <laughs> and enjoy is what we did We were hearing some uh, voices, or voices, uh, some noises there uh, from the woods. But uh, if we shine a light, we see a blinking eye. So we think there is wild boar watching us or watching the stars. <laughs> At this point, the meteor started picking up quite a bit. Please sit back and relax. Yes, that is 44 meteors already and counting. While just getting a bit chilled out, we got rudely interrupted again, of course, by Mother Nature. We're just saying that the aurora has died down. Five minutes later, let me focus that view. Oh my God. Look at that. Naked eye visibility again. So it's now uh, almost, I think, about two hours uh, later now. Uh, Kuhn has uh, gone home uh, one and a half hours ago because he uh, still had to drive three hours uh, back home and he has to work tomorrow. Yeah, we are seeing more and more purr seats. Uh, at the moment it's a bit quiet. I've just also uh, shot my foreground of the uh, church with me sitting on the bench. Maybe I'll use the one with me on the bench, maybe the one without me on the bench. I don't know. Um, yeah, Aurora-wise it's uh, quiet and uh, I think that's a positive thing because uh, it's really nice to have some aurora but I was really looking forward to have a relaxed night out and uh, this was chaotic but uh, yeah for the past two hours we have just been sitting here uh, Corne is now adjusting Martijn is somewhere there in the background I don't know if you can see him and uh, yeah we also uh, saw some uh, boar there are some wild boar families so sometimes they uh, walk the perimeters here. Uh, it's a bit, bit scary, especially Corne uh, thinks it's scary because he uh, doesn't come from an area where wild animals live. <laughs> I'm a bit used to it, but still we have to watch out a bit. And uh, in the meantime, just uh, look to the stars. So let's look to the stars and count some meteors again. What did you buy today, Corne? 
A bite is, um, yeah, how to say it? Air bed. In, in inflatable bed. Dead, yeah. And it's in a hard form. Yes, because I love uh, stars. <laughs> You look good, man. <laughs> Quite relaxing like this. <laughs> so I tried Corne's love bed myself and I have to admit it was quite nice to just lie down and stare into the universe. As the morning approached, we also enjoyed the first signs of the winter night sky making its appearance in the north. Okay, so uh, it's about 4, 4.50 in the morning right now. Uh, the second night of our Perseids meteor shower hunt, which turned out to be a bit of an aurora hunt also. There uh, between Martijn and Cornet, you can see Orion rising for the first time this year. So uh, it's pretty awesome. You can just about see Orion's belt. Um, I am totally knackered at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I, I only shot, I think, one, com one composition and I've let my camera run the whole night uh, uh, yeah just to catch as uh, uh, much meteors as possible uh, how was your night and i'm going to pull the microphone a bit there how is uh, your <laughs> night Martijn? It, it started kind of chaotic but uh, in the end it uh, went quite well so uh, i think we have a lot of uh, proceeds so uh, yeah. yeah i'm quite happy yeah nice man How's and clear you? skies right yeah. so uh, two nights in a row clear skies on a special event as this that's uh, kind of rare and aurora <laughs> and aurora how did you go yeah, Can you yeah same as, as <laughs> same as martijn so it started a bit chaotic but uh, when it calmed down we could relax you could lie on the ground sit in the chair watching the purse seat so uh, yeah we enjoyed it we saw a lot indeed we did i am um, I think uh, <laughs> the microphone. Oh, <laughs> he wants to say something. Yeah, I just want to say goodbye because uh, <laughs> hey, if our shots turn out to be any good from yesterday and today, here are our shots. And uh, for now, I thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So I let my camera running the whole night, pointing roughly in the direction of the setting Milky Way. During the course of a few hours, the largest part of the Milky Way which was in my base shot had already set. I could take a bit creative freedom and blend the meteors in, more or less at the right part of the sky they fell, but not 100% accurately aligned to the stars. It would look pretty awesome like this. In the end though, for me, it just didn't feel right. So I decided to do a 100% star alignment in pics in sight and blend in only the meteors that matched my base frame.